Excuse me, I'm eating like a I don't know, it's some type of some type of chocolate bar. It's gonna be pretty good. But uh yeah, we gotta get to this tracker now. Mm-hmm. That's good. Mm-hmm. That's real good. Only got a few more bites left. Well, uh, Chew is my fault. We've lost a camp mm. in sector three. There's some kind of fight going on over there. You gotta chew thoroughly. As Batman makes these men into a nice, decent pulp thoroughly. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice. Get a sip of the well known Dasani. Let's see. Mm. A plant bottle up to 30% plant based, 100% recyclable bottle. Plant bottle. Redesign plastic, recyclable as ever. Dasani purified water. Enhanced with minerals for a pure, fresh taste. Mm -hmm. The Coca Cola Company. Ah. Oh, my controller died. <clears throat> Come on, baby. Work for daddy. Uh, can I find some batteries? Oh. Drinking this Dasani and freaking beating men to a pup, you know, you lose track of your battery life. Okay, let's just turn it back on. Oh, there's always a little bit of leftover energy left in your little battery pack, if you didn't know. So you can always turn it right back on for a couple of seconds, but, you know, might want to always try and switch it out. I guess I'll switch it out soon. I don't know when. I'm not too good about battery life. I remember back in the day, like PlayStation 2 was. Alright, let's see if this works. Oh! Why did you latch on? Now you're getting shot up. But wait, I got body armor! Alright, I'm heading to me though. Below the surface, um, Gotham's a maze yeah. of old steel and ironwork. What was I My just signal make it weak. Dang. Try and stay locked on. Rerouting additional satellite coverage. Huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good luck, Bruce. I remember back in the day, like PlayStation 2 wise, that was probably the best wired controller yeah, ever. Because, to be honest, with me like and PlayStation in general, out, never really got too tangled up. But, Xbox controller? Oh my god. Oh my, oh man. All right, these guys getting a little bit friendly. I'm, I'm not looking too well on my armor and health and stuff. Ah, uh, holla at your boy. Mm-hmm. I'm getting all y'all. All y'all getting the taste of the sweet fist. Sweet fist. Mm. Who wants some? Get some of the sweet fist, boy. Some of the sweet fist. <laughs> uh, rampaging on these fools. Alright, looks like you're next, sir. Alright, and one, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I'm way off. 15 hits, 16 hits. Word to your mother. Alright, so through the sewers, this is when we're going to be introduced to the line launcher for the first time. Or the first time you have to use it. Let's take out these little Joker teeth. I remember in the first Arkham, like in the first game, Arkham Asylum. I could not stand those things. Oh my god. Oh man. Alright. I thought that was pretty cool. Look at that. Only Batman can do that. You do a flip halfway in the air without any support underneath your legs and you still have the time to put the line launcher back into effect so you can reach the other side of the tunnel? Wow. That was a mouthful. Take down from above. And let's take out these minions. See, look, they already got guns posted. Like, 
Dude, okay, other than Batman, who really gonna make their way down here? Okay, and who really gonna have the ability? Let's let's make let's say it's like three people, like three to three to one person. So either you got three people or two people and one person coming down here. Other than Batman, who is making a pulp of these gentlemen as we speak, who is gonna have the ability to take on all y'all at the same time? So do you really need guns? No. But now that they do have guns, you might as well put down a smoke pellet and get to work. Oh yeah, crack the knuckles a little bit. Yeah, cause it's getting real heavy in here. You going back to that case, man? You going back to the case, you want a gun? Oh, I'm sorry. Man, that was a good chocolate bar, if I do say so myself. I don't know, it was like, um, uh, now you're gonna be burping again. Uh, oh my God. Uh, now don't do that on purpose, like dead serious, I'll be burping. Oh, uh, but the count, oh my, oh! Three hit counter. First it got the, the leg, then the knee, then round no one the roundhouse. But he backflipped. Was that a front flip? Anyways, he flipped, then kicked you in the head. Boss! Woo! But um yeah, that was like a what kind of bar was that? Um let's see. It was a huh, it was a Kellogg's bar. Fiber plus. You know, they say fiber makes you poop, but it doesn't make me poop, but they are pretty good. You know, I remember one day, went into the kitchen looking for like something sweet, maybe like a Snickers bar or something, and I got this, and I was not disappointed. What do you know? Oh, okay, let's see. Line launcher to the rescue. Uh, zip line. Even though that's actually, is that a, that would be considered a grapple, right? But I've been saying zip line since the first game. So, you know, might as well stick with what you know, <laughs> you know? Uh, let's see. What are we trying to do right now? Oh, yeah. Trying to follow this. Oh, wait. What's happening to my health? No. No. I worked so hard to get to where I was at. Now I'm about to have just my armor. Just give me Save me. I need to care right now. <laughs> This ain't going too well. Right. Need help. Hurry. Wait, so my health is going. Man, I hate the Joker. <sighs> yeah. Now I'm mad. We gotta find this ninja girl so we can get the race. Well, she's leading us the race. Mr. Race Al Ghoul. And for those who don't know, this is a fun fact of Batman lore, or whatever you wanna call it. A lot of um, Batman had a love affair and had kids with Ra's al Ghul's daughter, a Miss Talia al Ghul. Just in case you didn't know, I thought I'd lay some Batman knowledge on you. And the child they did have went on to become a Robin. Hmm, what do you know? Okay, yeah, back to making soup. Making soup, oh, you got a gun, not good. That's not ever good, off you go. Mm, have a nice trip, sir. Uh, put down the pipe, sir. Uh, take off the body armor, sir. Oh, you're getting just a little bit too friendly. A little bit too friendly. I don't like friendly people. Off you go. Actually, I do like friendly people. I'm very friendly myself, but you know, friendly henchmen, I don't like. It's not a good, not a good mixture. Don't work. I get mad about it. All right, time to make quick work of you. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now I be counting in the, the counter of the of like the combo be really off. Oh, okay. It Nothing like to Joker worry about or, or to weapons complain weapons about. The it's whatever. That's I don't care. Good. Those guys are armed with the latest military weapons. Oh man, I just had a big lunch. The itis well, is kicking in. He won't. I won't let For him. all y'all who know what the itis is when you start to get sleeper. Oh man. About the GTS in this thing. Oh, someone in this man, I remember we used to use that term around this house all the time. To them so that I can scan them what you about to do? GTS? Please. Oh, okay. I don't know well, let me know when here. you get up. Can I all the time. No, Alright, so I remember the first time I got to this part in the game, like when I first played it, and this is the second time me playing it. I remember the first time I played this part of the game, uh, I tried to, um, you know, take out the jammer like it told me to. And I had a really hard time killing everybody because once you are 
once you alert them, they know you're there. So it's better to go about taking down people and get them out the way before they know you're there or before they find a person that's been taken out, you see? Because if you go in there just setting off remote electrical charges, you're going to alert them and, you know, it's better to get at least one out the way. Because to be honest, uh, that burp was real nasty. But to be honest, if um, the person they're working for, they always let the henchmen know when somebody's been taken down. So it's better to, to at least get one out the way because, you know, I mean, it's an improvement, you know what I mean? And that's always better, I think. But when they have guns, you know, you know, that's not good. <clears throat> then on top of that, when you alert them too, even if you do throw out the electrical charge, sometimes they dodge it. But as you can see, you know, that guy didn't dodge it. He shot his fellow teammate. What? I think that if they, if you do shoot off electrical charge and they do shoot their people, they should get knocked out or something though. Because, I mean, they're bullets and they don't have armor. Like I remember in the first game, you put down a explosion gel like in their vicinity. Sometimes it would knock them out, but sometimes it would just take them out like completely. That was like the funnest thing to do because their bodies would go like the go into like the rag doll, phys rag doll physics, and they they arm would be all in between their legs, and the leg would be in front of their face. It was just crazy. Knee be behind their butt. I don't even know how that's, how that's possible, but it would happen. What? So let's see if we can finish these guys off. Remember, I had the hardest time. Cause you you come well, well you come back you end up back here I'll just say it and you have to take out some more guys and it's kind of difficult too I don't know maybe it's just the the way this place is set up it might be I don't know but I don't think we're gonna be able to finish them off in this video guys I'm sorry bye.